Hi, I'm Rose Leslie and I am with Harper's Bazaar UK and we are about to find out what it is that you might not know about me. I would say what makes me the happiest is my young son. He has this delicious smell in the kind of crink of his neck and behind his ear and um, I just kind of nestle on in there and when I breathe it in it makes me very, very happy. What makes me angry is that our dog right now is very pernickety and when it is raining outside she refuses to go out outside for a pee or a poo and she then finds a corner somewhere in our home to do a business and that makes me very angry. She is cute until it's raining. So I would say that the career moment that has changed my life would be when I managed to get Game of Thrones and I met my husband on that set and we now have a baby so that has been pretty um, influential in my life, yeah. So if I wasn't an actor, my dream job would be to work in Formula One. Or, on that, it would also be being part of the camera crew on David Attenborough documentaries. So flying around the world and exploring and tracking animals and kind of learning about their habitat, I think that would be a pretty cool job. The best piece of career advice I've ever been given would be to do my very best, it's easier said than done, to embrace rejection and do your utmost to not take it personally, which is tricky. I have been most starstruck by Leonardo DiCaprio walked past me once and that was all it was. He was walking into a building, I happened to be outside it and it was everything, yeah. The song that will always get me dancing would be Shout by the Eiley Brothers. Without a doubt, that will get me up on my feet and kind of pumping the air. Love it. My party trick is attempting to rap with Eminem. The kind of classic, very popular songs that he has. My favourite Eminem song would be uh, Love the Way You Lie or Till I Collapse. I do my utmost in being able to keep up with his rap. If I had one superpower, it would be flu powder. And then I'd be able to kind of zip across the world in the way that Harry Potter does. The one book that I never get tired of reading would be Pride and Prejudice. I feel that that's very apt in the setting that I'm in now as well. I think the reason why I love it so much is way back in 1995 with the BBC version with Jennifer Ely and Colin Firth. After I watched that, I then read the book and I've loved it ever since. My guilty pleasure is Love Island, and it has been my guilty pleasure for the last six years. When it comes back around again, I always know that summer is here, it's arrived, and it's just a wonderful escapism. The best gift I've ever been given would be a surprise. In New York City, I happened to be living alone at the time and I was surprised out of the blue, had no idea, by uh, my husband and that I think was the best gift. The most romantic thing anyone's ever done for me is exactly that, getting on a plane and surprising me in New York. Self-care, and I have learnt this this morning, would be to nourish and moisturise my hands. I clearly don't do that enough to kind of exfoliate them every now and again and then just apply some hand cream. <laughs> I need it. The best piece of advice my parents have given me would be to embrace change and to roll with the punches of life and to do your best in accepting the changes that inevitably occur. The advice that I would give to my younger self would be to know that the amount of fretting that I'm doing <laughs> actually serves no purpose at all and and that you're going to be okay thank you guys for watching and i hope that you learned something new about me